Welcome back everyone, Rhino Seacrest here. Are you ready for another amazing episode of AJGT? Now let's give it up for Simon Owl. I've got a real good feeling about tonight. How about you, Mel B? Whoa, what's your language? This is a family show. Hello, and what is your name? I'm Roxy the Red Panda. Ooh, I love red pandas. And what are you going to be doing for us today? Well, I am a pink belt in karate, which basically means that I am a super expert and I can beat anybody up. Ooh, whoa, a pink belt. Isn't that the highest belt? It is not. No, it's not the highest belt, but it doesn't matter because I can still kick butt. Well, it looks like Mel B has her karate gear on also. Mm. I hope you guys don't get in a fight. Oh, she better hope we don't get in a fight because that would mess her up. Watch these moves. Huh? What do you guys say about that? Pretty good moves, huh? Right? Uh, what do you think, Melby? <laughs> you think I'm over here? What? No, I jump over here, and boom, watch, roll over here real quick. No one would ever be able to get. Look, I'm over here, boom, roll over there, so fast. Look, I'm over here, and then all of a sudden, boom, roll over here. Yeah. Oh, Melby's pushing it. <laughs> well, that was a tough break for the red and, uh, Mel B did not like it at all. Up next, we have a comedian. Well, I love to laugh. I hope this comedian is really good. Mel B, mm -hmm. where are you getting all of these snacks? You just got an ice cream cone out of nowhere. Do you have a mohawk? Mel B, what? What is going on? Mm -hmm. Every time I turn around, something about you changes. Uh, uh excuse me? Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, it's, it's going pretty good. My name's Roger. I'm a raccoon, and I tell funny jokes. I think you're gonna like them a lot. Well, all right, let's hear what you got, Roger. Okay, uh, how's it going, everybody? So imagine this, I'm walking down the street and I saw a sign. It said dog for sale. Normal thing, right? But no, it actually said talking dog for sale. What, a talking dog? So I went into the house and I sat down with the dog, and I said, Dog, what have you done with your life? And he said, Oh, I've lived a very full life. I went to school, I graduated college, I was a lawyer, and I became President of the United States. I was shocked. This dog became pre- So I turned to the owner and said, Why are you selling this dog? The owner said, Well, this dog is a liar. He never did any of that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite good enough. No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I was just getting warmed up. I have a much better one. Okay, all right. How does the bee comb his hair? With a honeycomb. Ooh, what did you think about that one, Mel B? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, right in the butt. Ouch, that had to hurt. Up next, we have someone handling dangerous, poisonous animals. Hello, tell us about yourself and what you're going to be doing today. Yeah, my name is Samson, the saber-toothed tiger, and I am an expert butterfly catcher. Whoa, an expert butterfly catcher. Wow, I'm so impressed. Uh, do I detect sarcasm in your voice? Do you know how difficult it is to catch butterflies, Simon? Ooh, butterflies. Wow, they're so hard to catch. Simon, do you realize there are poisonous butterflies that can kill you with one drop of their venom? Uh, butterflies don't have venom? You're thinking of snakes? <laughs> no, no. All butterflies have venom and they have super long fangs, like these fangs that I have. Uh, they're also covered in these long scaly things. Scales? Scales, yes, yes, scales. Fangs, venom, scales. Textbook butterfly. I'm pretty sure you're talking about snakes. 
uh, Samson. Yep, butterflies. You have boa butterflies, cobra flies. Uh, yeah, you're totally talk talking about snakes, Samson. I think you've. Y- you know what? Here, I'm going to let one loose here in the wild, and I will catch it. Wait, wait, ho- wait, hold on. Are you letting a snake loose? Why do you keep talking about snakes? Butterflies. Expert butterfly catcher. This is very dangerous. Uh, well, <laughs> okay, go, go for it. Here we go. And there's there's the butterfly. <laughs> oh, it bit me. It bit me. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Here we go. Got it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I got away. See, its skills are very slippery. Oh, here we go. oh, it bit me again right on my hand. Oh, oh the venom is starting to take me down. Oh, 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 nuts. Okay, I, I've been bitten by the rare poisonous butterfly. The only way for the venom to get out of your body is to move your arms and legs like this. It might look like I'm dancing, but this is called the venom remover thing. Uh, Mel B, what's, what should we do here? I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> Okay, just talk amongst yourself. I gotta get this venom out of my legs, out of my arms, and out of my butt tail. Wait, did you just say butt tail? Uh, well, yes, of course, my butt tail. There's tons of venom coursing through my butt tail. I'm pretty sure it's just called a tail. What? (laughs) Uh, no, this... People have all sorts of different kinds of tails. This one is attached to my butt. Therefore, it is called a butt tail. Man, you're stupid. You know what? I've had just about enough of this guy. That was pretty bad. I don't know if, you know what? It can't get any worse. Ooh, all right. I'm super pumped to be here. Okay, tell us your name and what are you gonna do for us? My name is Lacey and I am a super good walker. Oh uh, wait, so you walk really good? Oh, I walk super good. Watch, see that? Look at this technique, huh? See, you step, side step, then you hop, and then you come over here and lift your legs, and then lift your head up with much pride. Look, haha, I am the best walker in all of the world. Ha ha, yes, step over here, jump over here, and boom, yes, nailed it. You know, it's actually a pretty good walk, but that's not going to get you to the next round. Oh, don't worry, I have tons of other walks. I even have a run, you will not believe. What is, what is this? What is that? What is this dot? Huh? I gotta get it, what is this? Give me that, give it, here. I can't catch it. Ha ha, got you, wait, huh? Oh, 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 I'm gonna get this thing. There we go, now, wait, huh? Okay, I think we've seen just about all we need to see. Another one buys the dust. Whoa, what an outfit, that is impressive. Thank you, my name is Clyde. I am an alien UFO. Wait, you're an alien UFO? That is correct. So you are a UFO, yes. Uh, so you're a spaceship? That is correct. <laughs> I, I find that hard to believe. I will turn into a spaceship and fly away. I don't know how that would even be possible. I mean, your outfit is cool, but it's just special effects. Right? I am an alien. I will prove it. Whoa! Mel B, what happened? Where did he go? That is the craziest thing that I've ever seen on this show, ever. How in the world did you do that? You turned into a UFO, flew up to space, and then came back, what, uh, uh, and where is he? Is he ever returning? Oh my god. 
And now, I will do the UFO dab. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, here we go. I'm a dab from the ceiling, chilling, feeling my flow. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, and you know, if I ever need to vanish, I can disappear like, whoa. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, watch me show And I'm flossing and I'm hopping like I'm shopping, you don't know I'm a rainbow alien UFO, watch me go And I'm dabbing in my shuttle and I'm dabbing on the flow I'm a rainbow alien UFO, here we go I'm a dab from the ceiling, chilling, feeling my flow I'm a rainbow alien UFO, and you know If I ever need to vanish, I can disappear like, whoa What? What? What just happened? What was that? I don't, I don't even know what I just saw. That was amazing. That was incredible. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. Golden buzzer. And where did he go? I don't even remember his name. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, his name was Buzz. So if you're watching this, Buzz, you... Ha mm -hmm. Huh? But you said his name was Buzz. You just said Buzz. Mm -hmm. Bud? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mel B. You have your accent. I can't really understand what you're saying sometimes. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what she's saying, but uh, congratulations to Buzz, or whatever his name was, for the Golden Buzzer. What a performance, Alien UFO. Now give it up for your final performer of the night, a wizard. Ooh, hello, what do we have here? Um, sir, sir, the microphone, can you turn this way? Um, uh, excuse, which, where, where are you? Uh, we're down here, sir, just walk, walk down towards my I don't understand what's going on. where where is everybody uh sir if you just would walk down here we're we're down here hello what wait uh sir you crushed the microphone what what's what is the microphone where am what's what's going on over here oh the microphone actually appears to be okay great uh what's your name uh uh well, what's your name I'm Simon Owl this is Mel B. Mm -hmm. Don't you know who I am? Uh, we have no idea. My name is Wizard. Uh, your name is Wizard or you are a wizard? Yes. Uh, what are you gonna be doing for- Where am I? Uh, you're on Animal Jam's Got Talent? Oh. Oh, I remember. Right, right, right. Of course. Sorry, I can't believe it. I totally forgot. Okay, I'm ready. For my first trick- Wait, uh, for my first- it, it is not a trick because what I'm doing is actually real. <laughs> this is real wizard, wizardry, wizard, wizardness, wizard thing, real wizard things going on. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. I'm totally believing all of this. Oh, you just wait. <laughs> you wait. Mm -hmm. What would you say if I turn this wolf into a ball? Uh, I think I'm. I might be impressed. Abracapocus. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty good, actually. I like that. And now, I will turn this penguin into a statue. Now be very quiet. I have to sneak up on it. Abracaboo! Whoa, you actually did it! Uh, did what? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to. That penguin is now a statue! Alright, yes, of course. That's what- Yes, I meant to do that. You are freaky. And now for my final act. I will let this live phantom out and I will hypnotize it. Wait, a live phant? Is that a real phantom? There is no way this is a real- Oh, oh, it's real. It, that's a real phantom. No, do not. No phantoms allowed on Animal Jam's Got Talent. That's in the rules. It's in the contract that you signed. No phantoms. What's the matter? Are you scared? Yes! Of course I'm scared of phantoms. They will destroy you. No need to worry. I'm a perfectly trained wizard and I can handle any phantom. Here we go. It is now out of its cage and it will most likely try to attack me. But never worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. 
This phantom will never even get close to me because I am an expert wizard. Oh, oh no. Oh crap, it turned me into a phantom. I I have been phantomized. Uh, uh, I think we, we need to get out of here, Melby. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, stop. No. Mm -hmm. So great, that just happened. Now we are all phantoms. Mm -hmm. So much for that expert wizard. <laughs> oh, what do we do now? I don't know. Well, I guess this is the end of the show. We'll see you on the next one. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, here we go. I'm a dab from the ceiling, chillin', feelin' my flow. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, and you know, if I ever need to vanish, I can disappear like whoa. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, watch me show. And I'm flossing and I'm hopping like I'm shocking, you don't know. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, watch me go. And I'm dabbing in my shuttle and I'm dabbing on the flow. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, here we go. I'm a dab from the ceiling, chillin', feelin' my flow. I'm a rainbow alien UFO, and you know, if I ever need to vanish, I can disappear like whoa. Whoa, UFO.